So I'm just casually day drinking because quarantine life. Cheers. Are y'all ready for some truth? Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're not doing a makeup tutorial. We're actually talking about relationships. So I thought I would give you guys some advice. Not to say that I'm certified for this advice, but I, I like to think I am a little bit because I've been through it all. Like I've done the online dating. Um, I've been in those long-term relationships. I've been through a lot of bullshit, you guys. And honestly, if you want to hear more about that, I got a lot of stories. So just let me know down below. But anyways, um, I know modern dating is crazy right now. It's it's not the same that it's been like 10 years ago. So when I was in high school and I started my relationships, like everyone wanted to settle down. Everyone wanted to be serious. Um, having a girlfriend, having a boyfriend, it was like a big deal. But now there's so many options. Everyone looks good. Everyone's Instagram looks good. You're always thinking about, you know, like this girl's better than me or why is he talking to her or is he talking to this person and guys there's so many options you know like you have all these apps you have all these um you know instagram tinder all this stuff and and guys are meeting girls like this like if you don't want to have sex well on to the next next girl it's easy to get people um and that's not necessarily the case at the end of the day what i do want you guys to realize is that um, how are you meeting these people? So if you're meeting someone on a dating app, let's say Tinder, for example, always have that expectation that, you know, it's a hookup app. These guys, for the most part, are just trying to get in your pants. They're just trying to have sex with you. And you know what? Like, if that's what you're into, cool. But if that's not what you're into, just stray away from that. Like, we all know someone that has had a successful story from Tinder that's met their husband. Like, I have so many clients that have met their husbands on Tinder. They are the exception, not the rule. So try to keep that in your mind. Um, I find, like, a lot of the other dating apps are pretty much the same. Like, these guys are on the same pages. So just be aware of the fuckboys. Another trick you shouldn't fall for is... If you're on a date with a guy and he says, oh, like, what do you look for in a guy or what do you want in a relationship? They want to know what you want so they can pretend to be that person. Not saying all the time, but a lot of times that's their game. They're going to pretend to be that person to win you over, to get you to fall for them, and then bam, they get what they want and you get screwed over. So don't fall for that. Yesterday I was reading the book men don't love women like you so shan booty a really popular relationship expert and she's actually from toronto too so she was talking about the book in her story and i was like you know what let me check it out honestly guys this book is like blunt it's like stuff you don't want to hear but you need to hear so if you're a little bit sensitive i would just take a step back and prepare yourself for this book because i think everyone needs to um, take a look at themselves, self-reflect, and allow this information in. You don't want to hear it, but you need to hear it. So anyways, after I got through this like six hour audible book, I got kind of like the main point. So I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment. So what I did was I contacted a bunch of guys that I know. So family, friends, fuck boys, people from university that I know, like a bunch of guys, and I basically ask them, what do they look for in a girl that makes them special? He makes them want to take her seriously. So I compared the answers with the answers from the book. So from the book, it kind of tells you like, uh, you're a placeholder or you're a game changer. So the placeholder is technically like, the girl that gets screwed over, the girl that no one takes serious, pretty much like most girls right now. And then the game changer is like the goal, the girl you need to be, the girl that guys are going to go after. So and, and it kind of just talks about like what kind of traits um, or what makes you stand out in that sense and how you can basically get to that point because it's never too late. Um, you can always change the outcome. So let's get right into it. I'm just going to put on my nerdy glasses let's get real i'm the biggest nerd i made notes in my little book here so let's get started um based off of my results uh the number one thing guys look for or that makes you stand out is confidence so confidence 
you guys like being yourself being independent being like unapologetically yourself and owning it that's what guys look for that's what makes you pop because a lot of girls are scared um, they're shy they don't want to be themselves or nervous and you know what I don't blame you guys I've done it too but being yourself and being confident is number one number two having goals and ambition so a girl that knows what she wants what her goals are where she wants to be and takes the proper steps and actively works towards it so they're really hard working um, they're driven and they know what they want and they're not afraid to say it the third one humor so a girl that knows how to have a laugh that knows how to have a good time and isn't afraid to be herself and joke around so a guy's really like that like someone that's easygoing fun to be around you'll want to be hilarious but don't be a joke it was a tie for number four and five um but basically kindness someone that's caring someone that's empathetic um, basically looking out for others and and having it in you to basically take care of others needs number five which ties with that is a family someone that's family oriented someone that's nurturing someone that um, if you were to introduce them to your family they would love them they would fit in they would take care of you um, think of your needs think of your wants and make sure you're happy so there were a couple other things like loyal, um, trustworthy, um, outgoing, things like that. There were so many different things I've got out of this, but those are the main five um, based off of the guys that I know, okay? So I kind of reached out to everyone and, and I pulled together the results and that's what I got. All right, so now we're going to go based off of the book number one confidence so it actually matches up with what these guys were saying is basically being yourself um, accepting who you are and owning it and being unapologetically yourself which is I'm just gonna keep repeating that because that's super important it shines through people see how genuine you are how real you are and how you don't give a f you want to have that attitude where you don't give a fuck you know what I mean you're not gonna let someone mess with your vibe bring you down um, I know it's easier said than done, but it's something we can work on. You just really want to self-reflect, think about all your qualities, what you have, and let that shine through. Accept it, take it in, and own it. You can have an amazing job, you can be super pretty, you can be um, successful, have money, have a good family, have a nice car, have your own place, all of that. But at the end of the day, that doesn't really guarantee that a guy is going to take you serious or that uh, makes you stand out. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these guys, if you're like online dating and stuff, if they're used to kind of meeting different girls, um, they're like, they've seen it before. There's always going to be someone that's hotter, someone that's funnier, someone that has a better job, someone that, you know, has a better degree, whatever the case is that like isn't the deciding factor and for the guys that are users that is actually what they're looking for so if they don't have their own car if they don't have their own job they don't make their own money that's what they're going to be impressed with because they know that you're going to take care of them so don't be that girl so number two knowing what you want and being direct being real being straight up about it and that's kind of what sets girls apart because a lot of girls are scared to they have like a fear of rejection so they're scared to, to speak their mind to say what they want sometimes they just go with the flow give the guy what he wants but their needs are not met and they end up getting hurt and they get burned in the long run so you don't want to do that I'm not saying get out there and like the first date be like listen this is what I'm doing this is what I want but you want to make it clear at some point in the beginning that that that's what you want like if you want a relationship you want a relationship you want a man if you want to fuck around and you want to have a friends with benefits that's what you want you make it clear you make it known and you go and follow through. tell the person let them know this is what you want this is what you're looking for and at the end of the day if that's not what they're if they're not on the same page with you then you know at least you know you can move on you can accept it and you know you're not going to be stuck in a situation where you're just waiting on someone else you're letting them take control you don't want to be that girl you will be disappointed the truth will set you free believe that you want to be detached you want to go with the flow 
uh, trust yourself and let things happen. So you want to trust in this world that when you want something, you you build up that positive energy, those positive vibes, and you put it out into the world. You want to think about what you want and not what you don't want. If you're thinking in a negative way, you're going to attract negative things. If you think in a positive way, you're going to attract positive things. You will attract what you want. So just keep that in your mind and kind of trust the process. Trust nature. Trust your environment because it will come back to you. And you just have to be patient. And when it does come to you, you want to take the opportunity. All right, guys? So you want to go after it. I'm not saying make any little excuse to go after something, but if the time is right and you feel the vibes and it's too good to be true, that's the time that you want to make that move and you want to go for it. If you like a guy, um, you want to make your intentions clear. So you want to put your intentions out there, um, but you want to let him come to you. So what I mean by that is like, you know, sometimes a lot of guys are insecure. They're also scared of getting rejected. They might not want to make the first move. They might be waiting for you. You might be waiting for them. And things don't happen sometimes because of that. So at the end of the day, make it known that you're interested. Like, oh, like maybe we should do this sometime. Or, oh, what are you doing later? Whatever the case is, be direct. If he's not able to go at that time, that's cool. But at least he knows that you're interested and you're down. So then let him come to you and be patient. Do you um, out, study, you know, work hard, and he will come around. So what you want to know is why are we, why are us women always trying to impress the guy? How come we have to boost ourselves and our qualities and what we're capable of doing and what we have done? And we're com constantly comparing ourselves to other women. Why don't you think about, hmm, what does he have? How is he going to impress me? Make him impress you. Don't give in. Don't make him feel like he's a shit. Don't boost his ego. Make him scared a little bit. Make him doubt himself at the beginning. I don't really like playing games, but you do. So at the beginning, you do want to play a little bit of a game. Like, be confident. Let the guys impress you. Let the guys come to you, all right? So don't be out there chasing guys. Make them prove themselves. They are not special until they prove it. And to go with that, like, a lot of times when we like someone, you know, you're not in control of this, but we put them on this pedestal. We blow them up to be this crazy, amazing person, this the hottest person, the nicest person, whatever it is, but it's not reality. Um, a lot of times it's in our heads, like, we kind of pick out, you know, little things that we've seen from them. Um, we like their potential and not necessarily who they're showing us that they are. Like, that's a big mistake too. Like, people like to hold on to these ideas in their head. Like, this guy is so great, blah, blah, blah. But it's the potential that you're holding on to, not the actual person. Um, even with the relationship, like if you're in a relationship, a lot of people stay in that relationship that's toxic and that's not healthy because they see the potential of the relationship, but not seeing it for what it is. So don't make that mistake, guys. They show you who they are, trust that. Kick them off of that pedestal, kick that boy down, like you don't need to go for that, all right? So bring him down to your level or lower than you even and take him for what he is, take him for what he shows. Now in order to move forward, if you've made these mistakes, if you haven't been happy, if you don't have a man, if you're looking for something, you want to start now. So just remember, you're not doomed, you're not stuck, that you're capable of changing that your situation is capable of changing. Don't let your environment control you. You take control of your environment. You can't control what people do to you. You can't control what might happen tomorrow. But what you can control is the way you think about it. The way your perspective, you know what I mean? So work on changing your perspective. Think about conquering instead of allowing things to happen, all right? And not everything that happens deserves a reaction, all right? So you want to confront the situation, process it, and then decide if it's worth a reaction. You don't want to react to every little thing that happens or you're going to go crazy. You want to stop being so negative. So stop playing the victim. Stop blaming yourself for everything. You know, sometimes things don't work out because maybe you're a little plan didn't work out, but there's always a bigger plan at work. So I don't know if you believe in God, if you're religious, if you believe in karma, whatever the case is. 
is there is a bigger plan for you so a lot of times these little things don't happen things that you really really want and that at that time it doesn't happen but you know what it's for a reason maybe you're not ready maybe you're not capable of handling it at that time maybe it's going to come back in the future after you've grown after you've learned things so always know that there's a bigger plan at hand and it's you're always going to win at the end of the day you will win it might not be today it might not be tomorrow it can be in a year whenever the case is you will end up winning and you will end up being happy just trust it just allow it and have that positive mindset i know it's hard guys but you've got to think like that if you want to succeed now in order to move forward you want to confront your past you want to confront your insecurities um, your jealousy your mistakes yourself your true self you want to confront everything and you want to accept it okay so if you're going through something right now um, whether it's a breakup rejection whatever it is allow those feelings confront those feelings express them let it out whether you know you want to take a shower and cry it out if you want to watch a sad movie if you want to listen to sad music go for a drive drink your wine all night whatever it is let it out and release that bad energy and then you can finally put that book away and move forward and i want you guys to remember this is not going to be easy it's not going to fix itself today or tomorrow it's not going to be you know the next person you meet is the one for you but you know this is all a process you're constantly growing and i believe you have to go through bullshit in order to grow in order to become better to become more knowledgeable, to become a better version of yourself. So always take something as a lesson and always try to let it in and help you grow, all right? So you wanna improve yourself, okay? You don't wanna be, um, you don't wanna let these negative things define you. I believe in you. So the last thing I'm gonna leave off at is from now on moving forward, this new you that you wanna work on, um, Work on being comfortable in your own shoes. Work on being yourself, okay? So I know it's it's easier said than done and some people don't know how, but a little example is that you can go, just go on dates or go out with people, meet people, and don't have that in your mentality. Don't have that mindset that the goal is like, for them to like you or to get their number that's not the goal the goal should just be you just want to listen you want to build rapport you want to talk back and forth um feel more comfortable in making conversation and being yourself and when you do that i want you to really listen so listen to what the other person is saying so all their little you know their stutters their mistakes um they might say something stupid whatever the case is take it all in and that way you're making them more human you're accepting their flaws and then it makes you more comfortable to be yourself because a lot of times we're scared to say something stupid we're scared to slip up we're scared to stutter whatever the case is um but when we notice other people do that and we take that in we kind of it's kind of like taking them off that pedestal again making them more human putting them at your level and being yourself letting that flow letting your true self come out and being comfortable with that that was it i hope you guys liked this video um let me know what you think down below give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more peace